of the top play. Number two. Number one. The Charlotte Hornets have themselves a close game after two quarters. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. These are the guys getting buckets for the Charlotte Hornets. The Celtics are within striking distance at the half. And without question, they can put themselves in a position to win this game if they continue to rack up the assists. Have a look at the leading scores for the Boston Celtics. Game track. Blocks. Very physical basketball in the first half from these squads. Lots of block shots and some great defensive intensity. Player of the half. Penny Hardaway has the defense figured out and his shots are falling for him. That's a lethal combination that will be hard to overcome. And here's the shot chart telling its own story. Who was cold? And that concludes our halftime report. Thanks for joining us. And see you again after the game. You got it. You got it. Yep, I got ball, I got ball, Hayward's I got ball. looking to do damage in the paint. Right back. Irving against Hardaway. Nice move into the paint. Irving shot, turn back. And he has just been a defensive force in this game. Shot block after shot block after shot block. And here's the replay with another look at that spectacular dunk. What a crowd pleaser. Gets inside. The Celtics. Oh, strong finish on the hustle play. That's a strong move right there. Finishing with the hammer. Raw athleticism right there. Blow by, goes up, finishes with a hard dunk. Looking to curl in. Off the dribble and to the rim. Irving's bank shot won't go. I really like that. That's good defense. Good sound defense protecting the basket in a close game. Bang! Charlotte's two for three from three tonight. That's just big time offensive basketball in the NBA. Searching the open man out, hitting him on time and on target, and then finally capitalizing by making the shot. And here's another look at that solid finish at the rim. They double him. Down. A look at the athleticism exploding up to finish with the hammer. Irving against Hardaway. Down into the lane. From beyond the arc. And that's his fifth rebound of the game. Just on the way to the rim. Garnett the rebound. From downtown. Rebound handled by O'Neal. And he's been working hard around the rim here today, using his positioning to get the boards. 
Ball comes loose, forced to make the pass to Wilkins. Nice movement around the perimeter. Oh, the quick release. Rebound corralled by Horford. Pass to the corner. Irving jump shot. Drains the three. And that's the fourth three-pointer for the Celtics. The transition three-point jump shot is one of the hardest to defend in the NBA because transition defenses have been taught to protect the paint first. You might ask, why are you settling for a three? It's not a settle. That's a great look for him. He's a knockdown three-point shooter. Wilkins draws the double, finds his space, and takes the wide-open three. Three-pointer won't go. Close games, second half, you've got to make these open shots if you're going to win. And lays it in. That's a nice pass from Gordon Hayward. you got to get your guys down the floor in transition quicker than they can get back. If you can rebound it and then get it up the floor, you're gonna have numbers to exploit the basket opportunities, attack the rim, don't settle for jumpers, finish strong. To Hayward, fires away from downtown. That one halfway down before popping out. Hey, when you're going up against the great shooters in this league, you need to combat that with tenacity and passion. Tremendous defensive possession forcing the miss against one of the great shooters in our league. Sloppy pass intercepted by McGrady. Goes for the three-pointer. And Tracy McGrady with the bucket from downtown. Nice follow-through on that shot. Gets the three to drop. For three, McGrady the rebound. Oh, terrific feed. Oh, nice rebound by Hayward. And that will end the third quarter. The Celtics down by six. Stay with us for more NBA on ESPN after a short break. Fourth quarter set to begin of another tight game. Neither team has been able to grab any kind of momentum. No, and that's what I love about the NBA. These back and forth type games coming down to the fourth quarter, crunch time plays. Who's got it in them to finish this game off? Goes to the goal. He puts it in. Blocked. Goes out of bounds. So it'll be Celtics ball. And here's the replay with another look at that tremendous play. from three-point territory. And Dominique Wilkins with the defensive board. For two to the free throw line for the first time in the game. Yep, he hit him. A foul called against Hayward. Smart basketball preventing an easy score and putting a poor free throw shooter to the free throw line. Misses the first. Good recovery, hits the second free throw. He just grabs the ball out of the air. A great defensive play. Tied up and has to pass. Oh, that's a devastating dunk in his face. Oh, he just stole his heart with that dunk right there. It's a loose ball. Almost a costly turnover. Nearly picked off. Fights through traffic and finishes strong. That was a nice dunk, but the move is what set it up. That was even better. Come here. Come here. To O'Neal. Gets to the rim. All right, getting ready now for the first of two free throw attempts. Whistle blows. It's a foul. I really like what I saw there. Good strength. Good. Nice shot. Just didn't roll in. And he hits the first free throw. 
And Shaquille O'Neal with nine points. Irving running the offense. Good switching on defense. Screen set nicely. Ball comes loose. It's deflected, and they come up with it. One of the keys to winning in this league is not beating yourself. Both teams seem determined to beat themselves rather than their opponent. There's a banker. Nice setup from Tracy McGrady. And what you're seeing here is both teams being very unselfish with the basketball. The assist total in this game is remarkable for both teams. McGrady. Defense nowhere around. A three-pointer. That one in and out. Attacks the basket. What a finish from Kyrie Irving. To start the break, you got to rebound the ball. Here, secured the ball, got it up the floor quickly, and then attack the basket. Good decision on attacking. The shot is blocked. And that's a great play defensively, Mike. He timed it perfectly. The Hornets get the inbound. left on the shot clock curls in lets it fly shot in and out Garnett on the drive hooks it up for three misfires from long distance this guy's a great shooter they were on him like velcro and forced the miss good defense and Al Horford's called for the reach in Turnover. They couldn't have picked a worse time to cough it up, Mike. To the rim, puts it up and in. What a play from Kyrie Irving. Your best offense is a great defensive play. Right here, forcing the turnover and then using that turnover to its best ability by pushing the ball in transition and scoring before the defense gets set. Collides with the defense and still banks it home. It's hard to guard NBA-level athletes. Who can... What a finish on the excellent pass from Kyrie Irving. Elevator, top four. He skied for that dunk. Sends it to the corner. Hardaway against Irving. Gets it right back. Inside to the basket. It's good. And a timeout taken late here on the four. Hey, it doesn't look good. But you got to give yourself a chance to win. Last minute of the game, come out of the timeout, get a quick score or get yourself to the free throw line, and then try to knock the ball loose with your pressure defense. Fires away, nails it. When you're playing from ahead, you never take possessions off. Get the rebound, secure it, and then don't take your foot off the gas pedal. Keep pushing it at him and score in transition. To Horford. Pick up, pick up, pick up. From beyond the arc. Can't hit from three-point range. Hey, that's a tough shot, but I'd rather have a good player taking a bad shot than a bad player taking a good shot. Wilkins against Horford. On the drive. Banks it in for two. the three. Unable to convert from the three-point line. McGrady slams it in. And here's another look at that spectacular play. away from center court. Irving's unable to hit the three. And there's the final buzzer.
The final score is 57 to 43. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching and good night. Here we go with the EA Sports post game wrap up. The Hornets got themselves a win here today. The scoring display they put on is gonna be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. The Charlotte Hornets got their score from the guys you're seeing here on screen. The Celtics put up a fight, but didn't get their hands raised at the end. I'm sure they can't help but feel frustrated with the result, but they can't let that feeling linger. Sooner than later, they need to start thinking about the next matchup. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Boston. Game track, field goals. The Boston Celtics made it pretty easy for us to determine why they lost, and it was clearly their poor shooting. Even if we hadn't watched this game, all it would take is one look at their field goal percentage player of the game. Shaquille O'Neal put together an incredible game, highlighted by his amazing defense. Not many guys come up with this many blocks and steals. Here are the top three plays from the game. Number two. Number one. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.